Though I know there's like two more, or there's two stray fairies in the last room, so I should only have one left to worry about. And I know where it is, I just thought of it, so... Oh wait, that's actually two more. Two plus two plus eleven. Fifteen. Oh, I do know where this... Okay, alright, perfect. And they're both in this room. Excellent. Okay, so this room's full of teeter-totters. Which is kind of funny. And, uh... Oftentimes these teeter-totters will be swayed by, uh, the falling water, so you'll have to manipulate them to get around in here. This first teeter-totter you don't have to worry too much about. One of your stray fairies is down here. This room just totally ticked me off the first time, because when I saw this barrel, I thought, okay, I didn't know that you could break the barrel by rolling into it as a Zora. I didn't know you could do that as a Zora when I came here the first time. So I was thinking you had to pick up the barrel and use it to get up here, because see, in this room you can see... You can see, like, another area with a treasure chest in it up here. And there doesn't seem to be any way to get into it except for a hole in the floor down here. So I was thinking you had to bring something over here and climb on top of it to get up there. But I tried everything in my power and I just, oh my god, I couldn't think of anything. I tried to shoot those guys with ice arrows, but they died, like, instantaneously. So, oh, you know what? It's the one trick horse thing again. We gotta use fire arrows. Oops. No, you gotta aim better than that, man. And that brings us up to the top here. Then we jump from here over here. And shoot out this one. Whoosh. Melt the ice and let the water flow, baby. Let it flow, let it flow, let it flow. Oh my god. Us on that. You know, of all the Christmas songs in existence, I think Let It Snow was probably like the most overplayed one. Because snow is such an easy thing to, like, think is less talked about when actually, you know, especially since half the states don't even see it ever. Or at least. You want to get up here? He's being a jackass and they're hanging around the bottom. But I guarantee you, the moment I walk over it, you know what? I'm going for it. Haha! -ha. Well, I guess you just... Oh, holy crap! Okay, I guess he got me anyway. <sighs> Up we go. We can't climb that, can't we? Oh, okay, you're supposed to jump off there. Jeez. Okay, I was getting a little nervous there. Anyway. And over here is Stray Fairy number 13. This is how you get in here. You have to get in from above. I thought you had to get in from below because that's all I could see. And it turns out you get in from above. So that's how you do it. Anyway. Now we come over here and shoot this one out. This first teeter-totter is the one I saw when I first came in the room. This is how you progress in the temple. The only reason you would... Well, you have to use the other ones to get the switch so you can get the water flowing through the green pipe, which I just did. So, that solves a few things. And, of course, this takes us back out here again. But, since the water is turning the other way, that means we might have to go out a different way, which means sink and swim. That's right, we have to go out the way we normally come in. Now we go to the room on the bottom, and this is where the fun begins. We're almost done, y'all. We are almost done, I'm serious. Oh man, wait, there's one more stray fairy that's like really hard to get. It's this one right here. First you gotta pop it. You gotta do it with the Zora boomerangs or else. I think you can be pretty close there. Yeah. I didn't have to do that from so far back. I don't have to do that from so far back. But once you swim in there, you're gonna get stuck in the current, and chances are you're gonna swim right past it. So what I like to do is back up to the other corner of the room so you can get a sense of, you know, which direction you're swimming, and then you can just nail it right on the way in. There you go. Just like that. Now we just have to go back in there. I'll just make a giant U-turn there. Whoops. That's not what I meant to do. Stay against the wall, baby. There we go. And your last stray fairy is... Let's see. There's probably a quicker way to do this, but you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna get it now. It's right up here. I don't think I reached that. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter. We're okay. Let's just go over here. This is how you progress in this room. Okay, I'm going to turn into Link here. 
And I'm going to equip the normal arrows. God, this is taking forever. Where is she? There she is. Pop! Come to me, my jungle friend. Do 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 do. And there you go. 15 stray fairies, baby. We have all the stray fairies in the Great Bay Temple. Oh, that's a huge, huge accomplishment if you manage to do that. Especially, like, on your own. Without figuring it out. Like, without using a walkthrough. I, I truly commend anybody who's done that. Because I'll tell you, I couldn't do it. <clears throat> I had to find out. <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, I probably could have done it if I would have just spent some more time on it, but... Time and me ain't exactly mixing these days. <laughs> so this is our final water spout, which we unlocked with that. And since we have the boss key, we're pretty much done. All stray fairies, we're good. So it's time. I always try to stop myself. Wait, no, this isn't that room. Okay. No, there's nothing in here, right? Except for a cool ceiling with a blue hue toward the center. Ah. Uh... Jeez, if any fall would kill you, that would definitely kill you. Well, it looks like we got a boss to fight. Hmm. He's coming from underwater. This is very reminiscent of the Water Temple, much like the boss in the Water Temple was when he swam around underworld, and it looked at you from underwater, and you felt really scared because you knew that you were seeing his point of view, and you don't want to see the bad guy's point of view because that makes you feel like a bad person if you see the bad guy's point of view. And all of a sudden, he's going to swim like out of the blue. He's going to come right towards me, and he's going to be like, oh my god, and he jumps out of the water, and it's a huge fish, and his name is Georg, and he's a gargantuan masked fish, and we're going to have to fight him, and we're going to have to do it without dying because I don't have any fairies in a bottle. But actually, I'm just kidding. I do have a fairy in a bottle, so anyway.